Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I'm going to be going over one of my favorite things in the game, which is side quests. Now, if you've never watched my videos in the past, and I suspect that a lot of you are new viewers, because it seems like my channel shifted towards some newer viewers, um, you might not know, but I love side quests. Side quests are my favorite thing in this game, and I think that everyone should do them at least once if you're interested in the story. But, that's beyond the point. The reason why I like side quests so much is because they add to the world. They add to the game, they breathe life into the game, and they give it more flavor. So this video is going over what I believe to be the most iconic side quests in Wizard 101. In no specific order, I'm just going to go over them. Go over which ones I like, you know, that kind of thing. You know, and maybe you'll like them too. I know that a lot of these are... As I said, the more iconic side quests, I'm going to turn this down slightly, the more iconic side quests in the game. So, let's start. First, and this one literally has to be the most iconic in my opinion in this game, it's Hatchel Dim. Now, if you've never done a side quest, I would definitely recommend it. They're really interesting. But, um, I always, without, like, without fail, every time I enter Krakatopia, I do Hatchel Dim side quests. And that's two reasons for that. One, they give a lot of XP, which is really, really nice. I think the entire quest total gives like 3,000, which is more than all of Wizard City put together, which is just great, right? And then, um, two is the actual story contents. There's multiple parts of it. The first part of it is going over to Sergeant Major Talbot over here and asking why he's looking at Hatchel Dim strangely. We learn that he's curious why he's a purple mander when every other mander we've seen is green and red and blue now this is something interesting and you learn about some mander lore here is that each of the manders when they are born will have an element that they are identified to um so you can see over here like uh manders that uh are like cor uh correlated with the tomb of storms will be purple green means they're not correlated with an element um Ice, obviously, or blue is ice over in the Crocus Sphinx, and then orange is the Pyramid of the Sun and Fire. Uh, it's really interesting, and a whole little history lesson of the Manders um, right there. Um, another thing to note is that, um, or not another thing to note, the second part of the side quest moves on further. Hatchal Dim is a nice mander he's he's a pretty you know he's a pretty swell guy and he says i heard that there's a lot of archaeologists in the pyramid they must be really thirsty go get some water from this well and bring it to them so you go over to the well you bring it to him and professor winthrop is like oh my god this is the best water i've ever tasted all the water here is salty so far i really appreciate this bring this to my other friend you bring it to him and they're just amazed and they're very thankful you go back to hatch all dim and he's like Yo, so I heard about these this legend of um, a a chamber with two obelisks, and you know it's it's like a legend passed down on my people. Um, I want to investigate it. So you go to Professor Winthrop, ask him if he knows anything. He's like, I don't know. Go to this uh, archaeologist who knows about this kind of stuff. You go to the door, you read the inscription, you go back to Hatchal Dem, and he's like. Oh no, go investigate, and you find out that there's an evil mander who's been enslaving. Uh, the ghosts of other manders inside the pyramid. You beat him, and you save a bunch of manders. I think that this quest line is really charming, and is one of the best in the game, in my opinion. And I really love it. I think, um, I think out of most side quests, it's one of my favorite in the game. I'm gonna go to the next side quest I think is iconic, and I will be back then. Alright, next on our list is a side quest that I don't know if a lot of people have done, but it's one that is just super iconic and back in the day i remember it used to be very difficult is marla stinger and sunken city now the whole premise of this quest is is basically um she's doing an assignment for professor drake cyrus drake and basically she's doing um one on the myth named grub and it's basically this evil overlord kind of guy you go to Cyrus Drake with her paper, and he says, Grub isn't real, you loser. D. And she's like, what? Ah, that sucks. We need to go into Sunken City and procure some evidence. So you do. And Sunken City back in the day actually used to be 
rather difficult, not gonna lie. Because everything in here has, like, I think 600 plus health, and then, like, some of the... I think the final boss even has 1,000 health. And what's important about that is that the level you usually do this is around level 10, which means that all of these bosses that are... and enemies that are a lot stronger than even... Um, Honestly, they're about Marleybone level, so you're doing it way earlier than usual, and you go through this entire street. It was like also iconic for getting dragged into back in the day because the drags had a super long radius and the sidewalks weren't even safe. So, you know, I always loved this quest, and originally Marla Stinger, you know, we go to her uh, Grub's castle, and she's like, procure some evidence, and then you go and fight Grub himself and kill Grub, and then she's like, what? I just wanted you to get evidence, and then you murdered Grub? Lit. And then you go, and then Cyrus is like, I guess this evidence is sufficient. A. Minus. And then you can see why Cyrus Drake is just not a very likable guy, right? Is he continues to give her an A minus despite that. And I think Cyrus Drake, in my opinion, was one of the more iconic characters in the game. Next, we're going to go to Marleybone. Um, and Marleybone, in my opinion, has a lot of side quests that I find iconic. I, I've done all the side quests in Marleybone multiple times, just because I really like Marleybone side quests. Same with Mushu. Um, they're very charming, and really just very nice. The iconic side quest of Marleybone, and this is the one I think is the most iconic, is the Scotland Yard quest line. And, um, you actually get a badge... For doing it i believe i think it's is it member of the watch or no it's on is a member of the watch or honorary detective i don't know but either way you get a badge for doing this and basically um there's a bunch of prisoners in here that say that they've been falsely imprisoned but the uh officers don't really have the time with meow uh out and about to actually solve the cases and it turns out these prisoners are falsely imprisoned and I always thought that that was an interesting premise, is freeing falsely imprisoned people from prison um, and doing it, you know, the the, the legal way and <laughs> not breaking them out. Um, I mean, I'm all for breaking people out of, uh, you know, of the pigsty, but uh, doing it, you know, this way in the game is really nice. And I think that this side quest has a lot of charm. I'd always recommend you to do it for yourself. It also gives quite a bit of XP. I think it's around 10,000, which at the time is quite a bit it might even give a little bit more than that i'm not entirely sure but definitely a good side quest next on our list is in mushu now i honestly think the entire world is iconic in regards to side quests but there's some that are more iconic than others real quick let me go to it and i will be back all right so i've done some thinking and like, I, I've been wandering around Mushu now for, like, about 10 minutes, and I'm like, what side quest is the most iconic? And honestly, I couldn't think of one. Which, I guess, means that none of them are more iconic than the other ones. I wouldn't say that any are particularly iconic, but they're all fun. So I'm just gonna collectively blanket say, if you want to have a good time and you like Mushu, just do the side quest in Mushu. Trust me when I say that it's actually kind of fun. I've, I've never had a bad time doing the side quests in Mushu. And I really do actually love them. Like Shoshiro Gama over here, you know, how you have to put out some fires, I believe, if I remember correctly. Help the lost people. Get some berries for everyone. It's all just rather nice, you know. And, and I really do love all the Mushu side quests. So I would put that at a top tier side quest for me. Really now, um, there's only one that I can mention that I think is supremely just obviously an iconic side quest, and I'll be back once I'm at it. Alright, so here we are at what I definitely think is the most iconic side quest in this game. Uh, well, at least one of them, and that is Aquila. Now, Aquila in itself, I'm going to consider a side quest because, let's be honest, it's not a main world. You don't have to do it, but... It's just every, th literally every part of it, um, even Aquila, or not Aquila, sorry, even Atlantia, which I feel like is the least done dungeon, definitely is iconic, and I think that it's really um, charming and worth doing. Not only is the gear fantastic, but it's genuinely fun, 
and it has some side bosses for level 90 that you can do if you want to. Um, you can see here, if you look at my Aqua badges, look, at I got all of them. Uh, it's definitely really fun and worth doing. So if, if you want to have a good time, do Aquila. If you like Greek myths, you're going to love this world. So really, that's all I want to go over today it was my favorite side quests in some of the worlds. What I believe is the most iconic. You can see a lot of them are earlier game rather than late game. Because I think that late game the side quests kind of fall off a bit. They aren't as, um, you know, memorable and as interesting. But really, that's all I wanted to say. So if you enjoyed this video, if you agree with it, drop a like at the sub button. Uh, let me know if you think any quests or side quests uh, you've done are like more iconic than what I've said. Because I'm interested. So, I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.